Hey guys, today we're going to walk through setting up your WISE cameras so you can record footage on your PC or network video recorder using RTSP or real-time streaming protocol. As you have probably seen, the WISE cameras have gained a lot of popularity recently due to their ease of setup, tiny size and fantastic price point. WISE is allowing us to take their connectivity a few steps further by opening up the camera's configuration so we can record our footage on our computers or network video recorders or NVRs or DVRs. For me, my computer and NVR stores footage for about 10 days. I also like just going to one central location where I can see all my cameras at once and I don't have to open up multiple apps. I'll show you how to enable this configuration on your WISE cameras. It's not something that's available on the camera when you first buy it. Then I'll show you how to set it up on Blue Iris. In fact, you can use any PC software that supports RTSP, like iSpy or ZoneMinder. I'll then connect my WISE cameras to record on my Hikvision NVR. In order to take advantage of this streaming feature on the WISE cam, we're going to need to update or flash the camera's firmware. WISE has two versions of the firmware, the regular one that comes installed on the camera that gets updated regularly, and then the RTSP version. Maintaining both versions is a lot of work for WISE, so don't expect to see a lot of updates for the less popular RTSP version. To do the firmware switch, we're going to need to download the latest version of the RTSP software. I'll add a link to this page in the description. Download the zip file. Open the downloads folder, open the zip file, and then we're going to copy the firmware. Paste it into a new folder on my computer. So while I'm doing this, I might as well go ahead and download the non-RTSP version so I can revert back afterwards. Go to that link. Open the downloads folder. Open the zip file, copy the bin, and paste it in that special location. So to see which version of the WISE app you're currently running, open up the WISE app and select the camera. Click the gear icon in the upper right, and then scroll down to device info. So I got 495.36. I'll use my card reader so that I can copy the file over to the micro SD card. Then rename it to demo.bin so the camera knows to pick it up and read it when it's rebooted. Next, I'm going to drop the card into the camera and then hold the setup button while I plug it in. Give it a few seconds and once the status light is blue, release the button. Give the camera a couple of minutes to install the software and restart. So now that the software is installed, go back to the app and open up the camera settings page and the advanced settings. And now we should see a option for RTSP. I'm going to turn on this setting and now enter a username and password. And this is not the credentials for your WISE account, by the way, these are new credentials. And then click generate. And there we have my connection string. So my IP address for the camera is 192.168.0.190. So next we're going to jump over to Blue Iris and add the camera to a channel. Right click and select add. Give it a name. Leave it as network IP. Enable the audio, disable motion since I'll be recording continuously and select direct to disk so we are not encoding and taking up a lot of PC processing power. Okay, so I'm enter the IP address 192.168.0.190 and my credentials from just a second ago and update the brand to WISE and model to V2 and make sure the RTSP port is 554. I'm going to change the path to live so Blue Iris knows where to find the feed. Here on the record tab, I'm going to select continuous and I think, yeah, we're done. So it looks like I have some double overlays down here in the bottom right hand corner, but I can fix that later. So I'll do a quick lag test. And it's not too bad, only about a second lag. 
Now we're going to do a quick sound quality test. Here is the sound from the app. This is the sound quality when recording through the WISE app. And the sound through BI. And this is what the sound quality is like when recording through Blue Iris. You can notice that the app quality sounds a bit better. So next we're going to get the camera added to my Hikvision NVR. The NVR is connected to my home network and so are the WISE cams. I'm going to select this first empty channel and then edit the connection details. Now under protocol there is no RTSP or WISE cam option. So we need to fix this. So close this and go to more settings. Go to protocol and select a custom protocol. I'll call mine WISE and then update the path to slash live. Back here on the channel connection details page, we'll use the IP address from the camera. Select WISE from the protocol. Enter my credentials. And click OK. We're done. That's easy. So let's, uh, let's jump in here and do a quick lag test to see how things look. It's pretty good. About a second. That's normal. Unfortunately, the NVR does not pick up the audio like it does for Blue Iris. And when I try to see if it's included in the mainstream video flow, I get a message saying that this functionality is not supported. So hopefully this is something that can be fixed in a future update of the NVR firmware. If you want to switch the camera's firmware back to the standard version that came with the camera, you're going to need to follow the same process. Rename the file, drop it onto a micro SD card, and then put it in the camera, press the settings button, and start it up. In the app, you cannot just check for updates to get this latest version of the non-RTSP software. You need to switch it yourself and then check for updates. So I really hope that you found this information helpful in getting your WISE cameras to record to your PC or to your NVR. If so, please like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.